नमस्कार यू वॉचिंग द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ इंडिया फर्स्ट एनवायरमेंटल वीकली एनवायरमेंटेशन हेर आर दैडलाइन फ्रॉम द ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इश्यू एंड ऑल्सो सम अदर रिलिवेंट हाईलाइट द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ पावर हेज रिलीज ए प्रिलिमिनरी ड्राफ्ट ऑफ कार्बन क्रेडिट ट्रेडिंग स्कीम सी सी टी एस इन ऑर्डर टू एस्टेब्लिश ए फ्रेमवर्क फॉर द इंडियन कार्बन मार्केट Stakeholders are invited to provide feedback on the draft scheme by 14th April 2023. During the 99th episode of Man Ki Baat on March 26th, 2023, Prime Minister Narendra Modi noted that clean and renewable energy solutions have become the focal point of global discussions, reflecting the growing recognition of their significance in safeguarding our planet's future. In his famous radio talk, the Prime Minister highlighted the long-standing relationship of people of India with the sun, which has a scientific basis, and praised the country's fast adoption of solar energy. Prime Minister Modi commended the residents of MSR Olive Housing Society in Pune, Maharashtra, for their outstanding effort in running common utilities on solar. During the talk Prime Minister Modi praised the people of Diu and Daman and Diu for their remarkable efforts in achieving 100% clean energy for all daytime needs. He highlighted that uh, Diu is the first district in India to achieve this feat through the installation of solar panels on barren land and buildings. The solar panels generate more electricity than what is required during the day resulting in a massive cost savings of about 52 crore of electricity purchases. National Green Tribunal penalizes Burger Municipality with 1.84 crore rupees directs legacy waste treatment and sewage treatment plants functioning by December 2023 deadline. National Green Tribunal orders a review of B1 and B2 project classifications by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change and sensitize the state environment impact assessment authorities on sand mining. On 23rd March 2023, the National Green Tribunal Southern Zone Bench pronounced its judgment considering three original applications. We have a separate video on this a link is shared in the description the national green tribunal southern zone bench has pronounced the irrigation department of karnataka has been ordered to pay a penalty of 50 crores rupees for illegally extracting sand and silt for commercial purposes without obtaining prior environmental clearance editorial rooftop solar a solution to manage load shedding Load shedding is a common issue in India due to the insufficient power infrastructure and increasing demand for electricity. Rooftop solar can reduce the reliance on the grid, provide backup power and save energy, money on the electricity bills. However, challenges such as upfront costs, adequate rooftop space and regulatory and technical barriers must be addressed to increase the adoption. urgent call for sustainable development in kashmir an open letter to jnk seiaa writes suhail bashir environmental consultant in sharjah united arab emirates who is also a founder of national of, of northern conservancy for sustainable future how has the drop in lithium cobalt and nickel prices affected the battery industry and ev demand Q&A with Ankit Mittal co-founder Sheru a leading storage tech startup Gautam Solar's patent to reduce solar project costs India's Chita reintroduction project sees success with four cups birth Government of India grants 800 crore rupees for 7432 fast charging stations under fame 2 The Ministry of Power in India recently organized a national conference on biomass with the theme 3P pellet to power to prosperity in New Delhi on 24th March 
World Trade in Biodiversity Enhancing Synergies and Cooperation Environment and Transportation Integral Part of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's Assembly Address Reena Gupta Advisor at the Dialogue and Development Commission of Delhi Advocates Collaboration for Equitable Delhi Read the article Earth Hour brings about a significant reduction of power consumption to know how much energy saved by Delhi and Gurugram on the eve of Earth Hour 2023. Dr. Priyanka Bharadwaj shares third portraits of the vanishing Aravalli ranges in the series. Aravalli Hill Range to get a green makeover with Bhupendra Yadav's Green Wall project but environmentalists remain skeptical. CPR report finds most Indian HAPs unfit to handle worsening heat waves. Coal mine projects risking pollution seek environmental clearance amendments for more polluting transportation without proper air pollution impact data. The article is based on the decisions of EAC taken in its 41st meeting we also have a separate video on this. WTO's annual public forum to focus on how trade can contribute to a greener future. The WTO upcoming annual public forum set to take place from September 12th to 15th, 2023. It will focus on how international trade can contribute to a more sustainable future. The theme of this year's forum it is time for action. We'll explore the role of services sector, digitization and inclusive trade policies in supporting global environmental goals and addressing the climate crisis. NGT Eastern June Bench orders actions to protect water body in Bhubaneswar, Odisha, including penalty for hotel presidency's environmental violations. 35 trillion US dollar investment needed by 2030 for successful 1.5 degree Celsius climate target energy transition. The International Renewable Energy Agency, IRENA, has warned that the global energy transition is off track and requests urgent attention. G20 nations renew commitment to combat climate crisis at ECSWG meeting in Gandhinagar. Parliamentarians unite across party lines to tackle air pollution with comprehensive plan. In the light of the severe impact of air pollution on human health in various parts of India, the Parliamentarians Group for Clean Air (PGCA) has launched a compendium to empower its members to monitor factors impacting air pollution levels in their respective constituencies. The group, consisting of 35 members of parliament across party lines, aims to seek answers for better implementation of government policies. The compendium was developed by Swaniti Initiatives, the Secretariat to PGCA. The launch of the compendium took place during a two-day clean air workshop in Gurugram where the MPs discussed the issues and possible solutions around air pollution. 